the laws of success are not difficult at all. It's very simple. So, is it possible for someone to change their past? It's impossible. The past cannot be changed. Can you get your elementary diploma from a different school? You can't, right? In the same way, you cannot change your past life. But what about your present? It's also very difficult to try and change your present. People want to become rich overnight. There are people who actually attempt to do this. People get into the lottery. Are the chances there high or low? <laughs> They're very low. That's how difficult it is to change your present. The only alternative then is to change your future. We may live in the present, but we can go to the future. You can go to your future, and you can draw up what you would want your future to look like in three or ten years. You can draw here what kind of life it is that you want to live. Can you change this or not? You can change this because it's all up to your mind. You don't even need to pay tax for this. You can live in an apartment and move to a house. In your mind, you can spontaneously move to a penthouse as well. You can do this in your mind, and you won't even be taxed for it. You can even change cars. You can ride a BMW, a Mercedes, then a Porsche. You can switch your cars up to twelve times a day, and you still won't be taxed. You don't even have to pay for registration. Is this then possible or impossible? This is what I'm asking you to do. If you draw up your future in your mind, you can make it happen. The problem is you don't think this is possible. When I first started this company, I started it from a rundown apartment as my home. Even at the time, I used to go up on a hill. I went up on the hill. And I looked down at the city to choose where I wanted to live: mountains in the back, and water in the front. I saw a house where the sunlight radiated through the windows. I told myself that I wanted to live there, so I used to go to that area and I wandered around. I actually live there now. It's in Guachun. However, at the time, I was living in a rundown apartment. I would go to a real estate agent. And I told them to call me if there was a house available in that area. I just looked at the property for over a year, and one day I moved to that area. I was paying rent for the house. Then one day I bought a house that was available. If you want to live in a certain area, I advise you to go live there first, even on a lease. Then you can buy a house there later on. Though I started off in a house on lease, because I had a dream and vision, I first went and lived in that area. It is this dream that determines our lives. If you want to live a life by blessing others, a life where your family won't have to worry about money, then you need to draw that kind of image in your mind first. Draw a life that you want to live in your mind. Then you change your present life as you've drawn in your mind. That's how you can live out your future. In the present. So, even if you don't have a car right now, you need to draw in your mind yourself driving your dream car. Even if you currently live in a rented house, you need to draw in your mind a luxurious house. Even if you have no money in your bank account. You need to draw a life in your mind where you are helping out your relatives and your friends financially. Why? What happens if you can make fifty to a hundred thousand dollars in a month? Is this possible or not? If there's anyone here who won't give any of their fifty thousand dollars, please raise your hand. Raise your hand if you're going to share your wealth to those you love when you make fifty thousand dollars a month. Thank you so much. I'm confident. All of you will be successful. That is why you should live a life of sharing. Even right now, you need to live your life of the future in your mind. 
and your feet need to keep running in the present. We need to transcend the dimensions of space and time. This is the fourth dimension. Space exists in the third dimension, right? Time is restricted within the dimension of space. The fourth dimension, however, transcends both space and time. All of you must hear from those around you. That person is on a different dimension. He is on a different level. That person is quite weird. You need to hear these kinds of words from others. Beloved Atomy members, all of you need to go out and declare, I will make $50,000 a month right now, and I will live a successful life making $100,000 a month. You need to talk to your family first. When you write your life scenarios, don't just keep them to yourselves. You need to show them to those closest to you. Show it to them. To your family members, to your husband, honey, you've worked long and hard to feed our family. You can stop working now. I'll be responsible for that from now on. What kind of car did you say you wanted to drive? I'll buy you that car. What did you say you wanted to do for the rest of your life? I'll buy that for you. Just help me out for about three years. You should tell this to your spouse. Be a parent that encourages your child. Study as much as you want. You don't have to live like us, your parents. Why do you want to live like your dad? How will you survive in this world? What do you mean? They're all going to survive. But parents discourage their children if they do badly in school. That's why so many of them are committing suicide. They're thinking that they should die rather than take on that kind of shame. You need to say the opposite to your children. It doesn't matter if you're bad in school. So what if you're behind in school? I'll take care of you. I'll prepare all the money you'll need for the rest of your life. Don't worry. Just do whatever it is that you want to do. Don't you think that you should be this kind of parent? Then children who are cut out to study will study on their own. And students who don't have talents academically aren't going to study anyway. People like me have no talent for studying. I might have done it forcefully, but I wasn't any good at it. But since I come from such a poor background, I had a passion to end poverty for other people as well. I had that kind of heart. That's how I started to think about how I could help other people, by making a system that would help them escape poverty. And that system is atomy. All of you can be rich because you have Atomy as your tool. You can be rich even if you're not good at studying. People have become rich even without a primary school diploma. Do you remember the contractor Bunsuk Kim? She used to sew for a living. She would sew 15 to 16 hours a day. But now, she has become a pioneer for Atomy here in Korea. In the beginning, when she could not even be an auto salesmaster, she fled to New Jersey through New York. She couldn't say a single word in English. She couldn't even time her yes, no, and thank you. You're pretty good at English if you can time these words. But she couldn't even time these easy phrases. She just couldn't do it. There's actually a Korea town in New Jersey. And she knew how to read Korean, right? So she would go there and talk to people. She would talk and talk and talk. Sooner or later, her line in New York had grown. From there, her partners expanded. 
to all across the world. That's how she became a royal club member, earning $200,000 a year. This is a lady who had just sewed her whole life. It is Atomy's system that made this possible. People do not fail because of difficulty. It is because they're not used to the business. You need to know that letting your friends and family know about the content of your life scenario is the essence of your Atomy business. You need to tell them what kind of life you will live. To do this, you will need courage, right? Most people do not have the courage to do this. Courage is not about being fearless. You might be scared, but it's about facing those fears. You might not be able to earn $50,000 a month or even $100,000 a month. You know that this might not be possible. However, facing this possibility of failure and boldly declaring to those around you, that is what courage looks like. And those who can muster up that courage can become successful. What kinds of people then fail? People who fail are those who are fearful and have no courage. That is why they fall silent in despair. I hope all of you will be able to muster up the courage and face your fears and declare to those around you. You must be able to talk the walk first. There's a saying that you must walk the talk, right? However, you must first talk the walk. God also created this world by his words. The word becomes flesh. Word comes first, and those words become a reality. I declared with my words that I would make 17 people successful. I said I would make those first 17 people earn fifty dollars to $100,000 a month. I first said that I would make a global company. You must first talk the walk. Not all old sayings are true. There is an old saying, the human mind is a fickle thing, but I think humans should think differently in different circumstances. If you're in a rush, you should go fast. It's a weird thing for a person to be in a hurry. If they're in no rush, then that means that a person should act differently during different times. There's also a saying, a person must be the same inside and out, but a person must be in fact different inside and out. The inside and the outside of your palm must be different. A person with good character must have a different heart and actions. People who act according to their internal emotions are not people with good character. People who say, I can't be fake. I can't lie to other people. I need to say everything that's on my mind. Is it comfortable or uncomfortable to be around these people? Are they good people or bad people? These are bad people. To be a person of good character, your inside and outside must be different. Even if you have a partner who makes you angry, a partner who seems that they will give up, you cannot tell them you should quit. You can't say that. Should you get angry because other people make you angry? Is your wife always pleasant? But what should you always say to her? You must always say she's the most beautiful, right? Your inside and outside must be different. Is your husband always respectable? You might sometimes think he's the enemy. Should you then call him your enemy? No, of course not. I'm lucky I met an amazing man like you. You're my dream boat, even in the next life. Even if your blood is boiling you must act as if you're totally fine. You must be different on the inside and the outside. That is character. Even if you are afraid on the inside, you must pretend you are not afraid. When fears of failure come rushing like waves, you must shout louder that you will be successful. What if you're a platoon leader on the battlefield? and bullets are racing past you. You must not show your fear to your soldiers. Hey, this is nothing. 
Follow me. I will lead you. Don't be afraid. You need to say this even if you're trembling on the inside. That is what a leader must do. People who succeed do not say, will this really work? This won't work for me. Even in the midst of darkness, you must not flinch. This is so easy. This is nothing. I can do this. Just follow me. I'll show you how it's done. Even if your legs are shaking, even if there's fear inside of you, you must overcome those fears and declare to other people that you are not afraid. Let's all meet at the top as people of courage. That is the end of my lecture. <laughs>